Today we've uncovered and are taking a look at unreleased artwork for Fortnite for things that were never added into the game or unreleased things that could be coming to the game that we're getting an early look at. Thanks to FireMonkey on Twitter, he's found a load of concept art from artists that either works or still work at Epic Games for Fortnite who have created and developed things that ultimately made the Fortnite that we're playing now and also a lot of ideas that just never saw the light of day. Just a few days ago, Hypex tweeted out this image here showing the development of the Jones skin the skin that we all know and associate with Fortnite but take a look at how different he could have been he could have had black hair rather than blonde hair he could have had a beard or even this concept down here where he had giant eyes we're gonna be taking a look at a load of images just like this and if you want to open up a legendary weapon within the next Fortnite chest that you open give this video a thumbs up within the next five seconds to send yourself some awesome good luck and make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more awesome Fortnite content now for those of you guys who didn't know Fortnite actually began development in 2011 when Epic Games finished making Gears of War 3 and started to come up with some new ideas. If you take a look on screen here, you can see just how different the initial idea was for Fortnite. It was going to be a lot darker, a lot grittier, and this you would not associate with Fortnite because this is what we know it as. But it all started off as a concept very differently. In fact, over my second channel recently, we've reacted to a load of the original Fortnite trailers backdating as far as 2011. If you want to see that, I'll link it down below. You can see just how dark and spooky the game could have been, but it decided to move away from that and go towards a more colourful cartoony style, which is one of the big reasons why Fortnite has ended up being so big. Now if you look at this at a quick glance, you'll instantly recognise it as a house in Fortnite, but take a look at the actual Fortnite skin. He's super skinny and looks nothing like the Fortnite characters that we know now. Even here, taking a look at some of the developments for the Save the World Fortnite skins, as we know Battle Royale came out uh, in September 2017, so Battle Royale wasn't even being thought about back then it was all save the world content to think that this concept art ultimately turned out to be Fortnite, it just shows you how different the game could have been now as we all know within Fortnite, we buy a load of skins and all of the skins are very similar either based off of the same model with different clothes different hair or can be very crazy but they all look very Fortnite like if we take a look on screen here we can again see how different the faces could have been it was almost more realistic and then bigger eyes less definition and shadow more of a style that we're used to now within Fortnite. But on the left hand side, that, it's like a knockoff version of Fortnite. So actually, I'm not sure if it's ever used, but this was very old marketing artwork for Fortnite using the more realistic faces and even a logo that is nothing like the Fortnite logo now made up of what looks to be different pieces of wood together the zombies from save the world look very similar but the skins and all of the art on the right hand side that's just nothing like what we're used to now we all know the giant rocket event that happened within Fortnite and as you can see the design here and the 3d models look absolutely phenomenal the glider here the little pod that the visitor arrived in even all of these things are fine-tuned and designed before they ever make their way into the game. That's the same for the weapons within Fortnite. Now, I think you can get some of these as loading screens, and Fortnite have tweeted out a lot of them before, but it all starts off as concept art and artwork before it's modeled and rendered and put in the game. This is very much the exact P90 that we've seen. The science pistol, rip the science pistol, not in the game anymore. For example, like this looks exactly like it. We've also got the tactical assault rifle. Still disappointed you can't use the scope or the laser sight on this thing, but it's really cool to see the original drawing concept art and how cool it looks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what we're about to see has never been seen before. Alternate logos for the Victory Royale screen. As we can see on screen here, whoa, could you guys pick out the real legitimate Victory Royale logo instantly? Some of them are obvious, some of them not too much so, but as you can see on the right hand side here, this one is actually the real one. On the left hand side, you've got a slightly different light to dark blue gradient. And then on the top here, you've got like blueprint versions, which have never been used, but I think actually look really, really cool. Underneath it, you've got different variations for different game modes. And the bottom here, that logo is absolutely awesome. I don't think we've ever seen it in the game. If we haven't, we need it in Fortnite. For an LTM or a new season, this logo would be awesome. If you could add one of these Victory Royale logos to the game, which one would it be? Leave a comment down below. Now, everything we see within Fortnite, like for example here, the little numbers and the points when you're using a vehicle, has all been designed and 
mocked up before they eventually get put in game. This one, for example, looks like it is in game because it was obviously used. This, however, hasn't been used. It's an alternate Victory Royale screen where it highlights your seasonal wins, has the logo in the top left, and almost does like a close up zoom in slow mo of your final elimination with your little logo in the bottom. I really like this. This is actually an alternate design for purchasing different things within the Fortnite store. Obviously, never been used because we've never seen anything like this before. And this, I love, is another alternate Victory Royale screen. I think having like 3D rendered text within the world that you're playing the game is so cool and should be utilized more within games. Again, it's got your total wins here going up, which is awesome. Your little logo badges and everything in the bottom. I genuinely think Fortnite should add this in. Fireworks, big logos. Guys, do you want to see this as a Victory Royale screen? What do you reckon? We've got more concept art. This weapon, I believe, is only in creative and is actually like a flashlight weapon, which is like a pistol with a light on it. And I may be doing a video on that at some point, actually, because it is technically in the game. This is like a more art artwork for the scoped AR as well. A little bit different to how it looks in game, but you can see the skull on there and it looks fairly similar to the final version. Yo, this was the very first artwork for the pumpkin launcher that was obviously put in the game, designed in collaboration with Andrew Kincaid. To think that this actually made it into the game, it looks pretty much identical to that. If you have a designer of these things, it must be awesome to see it actually in Fortnite and see your work in action. Whoa, even more skin concepts. We know this guy is like one of the default skins. This hair ended up being used in multiple skins, actually. And these guys look more Save the World-esque. But to see all of these original designs and see which ones did make it and which ones didn't, or maybe will do in the near future, is super interesting. Sure, you guys recognize all of these skins that ultimately made it into the game. And this is how they all started off as nice drawings. Yo, no way. So you've got the Ghoul Trooper and the Skull Trooper that actually made it. I don't know if these guys have saved the world. You guys can let me know, but I don't recognize most of these other ones. I think Llama Head and this big guy, I think, are in Save the World. But let me know, guys. What do you reckon? Maybe future Fort Nightmare skins. You never know. Now, although no longer in the game, you can see different iterations and versions of the Burst AR, one of the standard assault rifles, obviously, within the original Fortnite, and how just how basic designs work their way up to something like this, which is a lot more finished, a lot more refined and then ultimately put in the game. Oh, so apparently these have been designed, mocked up and rendered, but aren't in the game. It's, it's basically a Cuddle Team Leader robot version with the ability to take the head off as well. It's all modeled, it's all there, it's all ready to go, but yet not released. Maybe you're seeing it here first. Yo, what is this? This is the minigun with an alternate attachment on it. Hold on, hold the phone. All right, you see this here? This is like the minigun concept image. Notice how this side is basically an ability to take out what seems to be the minigun and put in a scope. And then again, it's showing how you can basically unfold this thing and put it within the weapon as well. But that is very clearly some sort of Zapatron-esque minigun. This is the Zapatron, just in case somehow you didn't know what it was. That's crazy. It'd be awesome if they put that in the game. Minigun Zapatron. Yes, please. This is a good example of how ideas are taken and then ultimately different upon release. This one here looks to be like a sort of American flag star inspired skin. Very bright blonde hair and it shows the 3D render model version as well and also the male counterpart and then also the equivalent. However, as we know, this isn't in the game but what is in the game is this version here. So slightly adjusted no stars, but basically the coloring and almost everything else is very similar. So it just shows you how things that get adjusted before release. Another cool example of this is just the detail that these designers go to in case any of you guys are interested in becoming a game artist. All the inspiration and all the different parts put together for the commando skin, both the female and male counterpart. Then also taking a look at a color makeup on a pie graph of both of the skins, all very basic. And then boom, ultimately, if the design is approved and put into the game, this is what you end end up with the final slick version. I believe I've heard from someone at Fortnite that the idea to being in game, assuming all goes smoothly, is anywhere between two and three months for a skin. So that's how far ahead these people are working on the skins before we see them in the Fortnite store. One thing that's really cool, and I think some of the Fortnite guys may have told me this before, is if you work on Fortnite during a Fortnite season, at the end of it, you are gifted from Epic Games a little badge or a little pin to represent that you worked on that season. This is season nine. Somebody would be nice enough to apply some of their pins that they've picked up. You've got Save the World skins here, Creative skins skins, 
Season X as well. I don't think any of these are given out to the public. Some are definitely available at events because I know I've been given a few of them, but a lot of these are exclusive to the developers and the people working on the game. Even more here as well. Looks like maybe Season 7 skin. You've got the camel. You've got the Fortnite World Cup. Maybe a Season 8 skin there as well. Slurp juice. The baller. These are really cool. I wonder if there's anyone that has a whole collection of all of these pins. If you happen to be watching this and you work at Epic Games for Fortnite and you do have a full collection, let me know. Drop me a tweet. It would be awesome to see them. Now, everything you've just seen has been early, unreleased artwork. And you're seeing on screen here some very early video. All the way back, as I said, when development first began as just a concept in 2011 for Fortnite Save the World before Battle Royale was even a thing. It is so different to what it is now. We've got to appreciate all of the hardworking people that have put their time in and coming up with all of these unique ideas to keep on making new skins, new weapons, new items, new parts of the map. All of the creative people at Epic Games and Fortnite, let's all give them a round of applause. Building definitely doesn't look like that anymore, thank goodness. If you've enjoyed this one and want to see more unreleased footage of how Fortnite looked like back in the day, check out the video on screen and in the description to see the evolution of Fortnite design in video form. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you right here on the channel later for another video. Goodbye. Bye.